Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I'm going to do a first impressions video all about the Briogeo Curl Charisma line. Yeah. It's hard to know whether or not you like a product after only one use. In approximately two weeks time, if you check back to this video, right in the top two lines of the description box, I'm just going to list an update. So I will update you guys and let you know how the products performed over a two week period and whether or not I'm going to continue to use these products and if I would repurchase them. Before I talk about each product individually, I'm going to talk about the product line in general. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is the price. So each one of these products was approximately $30 and they were not on sale. So that is the regular price. I purchased them myself from Sephora. I find that to be a little bit more than I typically like to spend on products, especially because you guys know the way I style my hair, I tend to use a lot of product. And so for this size container, especially the conditioner, I would go through this pretty quick. So $30 is a little bit pricey for me. One thing about this line that I do like is that they're certified vegan and cruelty free. And so normally you tend to pay a little bit more for something with certifications like that, especially if they're going through the process of using a little bit better ingredients and again, being a cruelty free company. So I do like that. These are free from harsh sulfates, silicones and parabens. So that is a plus. Another thing relevant to all of the products in the line is the smell. I loved the smell of these products, but it is a stronger smell. So if you are somebody who is sensitive to scents or who doesn't like using products with a heavy scent, or if you're somebody who works somewhere where you are in a scent-free environment, then this might not be the product line for you. This shampoo has a great balance of protein and moisture. It smells great. It lathered very well for a sulfate-free shampoo, and it left my hair feeling very clean, but yet moisturized at the same time. The conditioner is nice and thick. It has great slip. It was very easy to apply and scrunch into my hair, and it rinsed really well. The star of the show, in my opinion, is this curl cream. Um, it's really easy to apply. It made my hair so soft and frizz free and didn't weigh my hair down at all. My least favorite of the group had to be the gel only because it had very little hold. It did, however, give me a nice, soft, frizz free result. I just wish I had a tiny bit more hold and definition. This video is not long enough to be a tutorial. And so if you would like to know exactly how I apply these products, please check out any one of my styling routine videos and just swap out products. I tend to style my hair pretty much the exact same way every time I do a wash day. This might have been one of my best wash days ever, and I don't say that lightly. Here are my final results from using the full line. I shampooed and conditioned my hair according to the directions on the bottles. I would say that I used a little bit less conditioner than I typically use, A, because it's a little bit more expensive, and B, because it was a very thick conditioner. And I feel as though the shampoo and the conditioner complement each other well. So the shampoo really cleansed my hair a lot. It's a little bit more cleansing than I typically like, but the conditioner was very thick and re-moisturize my hair without making my hair feel weighed down. So the final result, um, and it's hard to tell sometimes on camera, is sort of a healthy, light, fluffy look. I have more volume than I normally have, but I also have a little bit less shine and definition, but I'm okay with that sometimes. Um, sometimes I don't want my hair to look overly producty. As far as the styling cream and the gel together go, there is not really a big negative, so they don't leave your hair feeling filmy or sticky or like you have too much product in your hair. I think my only issue is that for my own curl pattern, I need something with a little bit more hold. I don't like a hard hold gel. I like somewhere right in the middle, and I found that these stylers were a little bit too light. The cleanser used in the shampoo, I'm going to list it right here, is a little bit more cleansing than what I'm used to. When I was in the shower, it lathered quite a bit and my hair felt really, really clean. And so I was a bit skeptical about how my final results were going to be. But this does have a good balance of moisture in it and the conditioner was a nice thick conditioner. And so my final result ended up, I think, being pretty good. But I would definitely not use this shampoo multiple times a week. I may use it once every two weeks 
or once a month or something like that because I really did like it, but it is a little bit more cleansing than what I'm used to. If you're somebody who really likes a light, fluffy, low product look, you will probably like this line even more than I do. My hair does feel very healthy and strong. Um, I love the scent. I really liked the experience. Everything was easy to apply. And so I give this product line, I don't know, like an eight out of 10. As far as price goes, it's a little bit more money than I am used to spending and I probably won't continue to repurchase these products on a regular basis unless I find through trial and error there is part of this system that I really, really like and that my hair loves. Anyway, if you like these review videos, let me know. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.